Have you ever imagined walking on the land where the Lord Jesus walked on water and diving into the same Jordan River where he was baptized? Israel, a place where the sacred and the everyday meet, invites us on a journey through the most fascinating chapters of our faith. Get ready to explore the mysteries and spirituality of a country that is truly a piece of heaven on earth. Without further ado, let's discover the 19 secrets of Israel together. Number 19. Hebrew Language and Literature Hebrew is the official language of Israel and has a rich and fascinating history. Originally the language of Jewish biblical and liturgical texts, Hebrew fell out of use as a spoken language for many centuries. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Hebrew was revitalized as a modern language thanks to the efforts of Eliezer ben Yehuda and other pioneers. Today, it is the mother tongue of millions of Israelis and a symbol of national identity. Modern Hebrew literature flourished alongside the revival of the language. Writers like Shmuel Yosef Agnon, a Nobel Prize in Literature laureate, and contemporaries like Amos Oz, David Grossman, and Edgar Caret have gained international recognition. Their works explore themes such as Israeli identity, the Arab-Israeli conflict, and social and cultural issues. Beyond literature, Hebrew is used in all aspects of daily life in Israel, from education to business and media. Hebrew literature continues to evolve, reflecting changes in Israeli society and contributing to the country's rich cultural mosaic. Who here has read a book by an Israeli author? Number 18. Conflict with Palestine The conflict between Israel and Palestine is a central and ongoing issue in the Middle East, initiated after the creation of the State of Israel in 1948. The conflict has deep roots in territorial and religious claims. After the Six-Day War in 1967, Israel occupied the West Bank and the Gaza Strip, territories claimed by the Palestinians for the creation of an independent state. Peace agreements, such as the Oslo Accords, attempted to resolve the conflict but failed to achieve a lasting solution. The Gaza blockade and clashes with the militant group Hamas have resulted in repeated conflicts over the years. Today, the conflict continues with frequent episodes of violence and high tensions. Number 17. Historical Sites Israel is a country full of historical sites that reflect its rich cultural and religious heritage. The Old City of Jerusalem is one of the most iconic locations, with the Western Wall, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, and the Al-Aqsa Mosque, sacred sanctuaries for Jews, Christians, and Muslims. The city of Caesarea, founded by Herod, offers impressive Roman ruins, including an amphitheater and a seaside aqueduct. Acre, with its crusader fortifications and the ruins of the city of Megiddo, mentioned in the Bible, are other notable examples. Another important site is the city of Saft, one of the four holy cities of Judaism, known for its mysticism and Kabbalistic art. Beit Shean, an ancient city with well-preserved Greco-Roman ruins, and Qumran, where the Dead Sea Scrolls were found, are also significant historical destinations. The Mount of Olives in Jerusalem is another site of great religious and historical importance, offering panoramic views of the city and being mentioned in various biblical texts. Number 16. Technology Israel is globally recognized as a leader in technological innovation. The country is known for its significant contributions in various fields, including cybersecurity, biotechnology, agriculture, and military technology. Tel Aviv, as we have shown, is a hub for startups, hosting numerous emerging companies developing cutting-edge technologies. Among the most notable innovations are the Iron Dome air defense system, which intercepts missiles and rockets, and drip irrigation technology, which revolutionized agriculture in arid regions. Companies like Waze, Wix, and Checkpoint Software Technologies are examples of Israeli startups that have achieved global success. Israel's universities and research institutions, such as the Weizmann Institute and the Technion, play a crucial role in advancing technology, working closely with the industry. The government also provides significant support to the technology sector, promoting a favorable environment for research and development. Number 15. Conflicts Involving Israel The history of Israel has been marked by conflicts since its founding in 1948. One of the most significant conflicts was the War of Independence, from 1948 to 1949, which occurred immediately after the declaration of Israel's independence and involved the invasion by Arab forces. The Six-Day War in 1967 was another important conflict in which Israel defeated Arab forces and occupied territories such as the West Bank, Gaza, Sinai, and the Golan Heights. In 1973, during the Yom Kippur celebrations, conflict erupted again when Egypt and Syria launched a surprise attack on Israel. The war ended with a ceasefire but had a lasting impact on regional security. The conflict with Lebanon was also significant, 
with the Israeli invasion in 1982 to combat the Palestine Liberation Organization, resulting in a long occupation of southern Lebanon. In recent years, conflicts with the Palestinians have been a constant issue. The first and second intifadas were Palestinian uprisings against the Israeli occupation. Since 2006, the militant group Hezbollah in Lebanon and Hamas in the Gaza Strip have been frequent sources of clashes. Military operations, such as Operation Cast Lead in 2008 and Operation Protective Edge in 2014, were conducted in response to rocket attacks from Hamas. At the time of this video, Israel is once again in conflict following an attack by Hamas on its territory. Have you followed any of these conflicts in the media? Is the apocalypse really approaching? Please share your opinion on this messianic fact in the comments. Number 14. Army. The Israeli Army, known as the Israel Defense Forces or IDF, is fundamental to the country's defense. Military service is mandatory for most citizens starting at the age of 18. Men serve for three years and women for two, with some exceptions for specific groups, such as Israeli Arabs and ultra-Orthodox Jews. The IDF is known for its elite units, such as Sayeret Matkal and Unit 8200. Technological innovation is a hallmark of the IDF with significant investments in cyber defense and air defense systems like the Iron Dome. Training in the Israeli army encompasses a wide range of skills, influencing Israeli culture and the job market. In addition to regular service, reservists continue to serve periodically until the age of 40, ensuring an agile and prepared defense force. Number 13. Political System Israel is a parliamentary democracy characterized by a complex and diverse political structure. The country has a multi-party system where parties play a crucial role in forming the government. The Neset, Israel's unicameral parliament, has 120 members elected by proportional representation, which often results in coalition governments. The President of Israel is the head of state, a mostly ceremonial position, while the Prime Minister is the head of government, responsible for administration and policy execution. The Prime Minister is usually the leader of the party or coalition with a majority in the Knesset. Parliamentary elections are held every four years but can occur earlier if the government falls. Israel's judicial system is independent, with the Supreme Court acting as the highest court responsible for reviewing laws and government decisions. Israel does not have a formal constitution but operates based on a series of basic laws that define the government's structure and fundamental principles. Number 12. Masada Located in the Judean Desert, Masada is an ancient fortress of great historical and archaeological importance. Built by King Herod in the 1st century BCE, the fortress sits atop a cliff, offering impressive views of the Dead Sea and the surrounding mountains. Masada is best known for the Roman siege in 73 CE during the First Jewish Revolt. The Romans surrounded Masada, where about 960 Jewish rebels, known as zealots, had taken refuge. After a long siege, the defenders chose mass suicide over capture, an event that became a symbol of resistance and courage for the Jewish people. Today, Masada is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of Israel's most visited tourist destinations. The fortress is accessible by cable car or a steep path known as the Snake Path. The impressive ruins include palaces, Roman baths, and ancient reservoirs. Number 11. Religions in Israel In Israel, religious diversity is notable and deeply intertwined with the country's history and culture. Judaism is the predominant religion, with about 74% of the population identifying as Jewish. Jewish practice in Israel is diverse, ranging from secularism to strict orthodoxy. Jewish festivals such as Yom Kippur, Passover, and Hanukkah are widely observed and influence the rhythm of national life. Christianity also has a significant presence, with about 2% of the population. Israel is home to holy sites for various Christian denominations, including the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem and the Basilica of the Annunciation in Nazareth. These sites attract millions of pilgrims every year. Muslims make up about 18% of the Israeli population, primarily Israeli Arabs. The Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Dome of the Rock, located in Jerusalem, are extremely important Islamic shrines. Islamic religious life is vibrant, with active mosques in various cities, including Jerusalem, Haifa, and Jaffa. Besides these, there are other smaller religious communities, such as the Druze and Baha'is. The Druze, who make up about 1.6% of the population, have a unique religious identity and live mainly in northern Israel. The Baha'is consider Haifa a spiritual center, with the beautiful shrine of the Bab attracting visitors from around the world. The coexistence and interaction between these diverse religious communities is a defining characteristic of Israel, creating a unique cultural and spiritual mosaic. 
However, they also pose social and political challenges given the complex dynamics of interreligious relations in the region. Just a quick reminder before we continue, many loyal viewers of our channel still haven't subscribed. If you're enjoying the content, help us grow by subscribing and giving us a like. Thank you very much for your support. And now let's move on to curiosity number 10. Number 10. Galilee. Galilee is a historical and geographical region in northern Israel, known for its green landscapes, rolling hills, and rich cultural heritage. The region is divided into Upper and Lower Galilee, each with its unique characteristics. Galilee is famous for being the setting of many biblical events, especially in the life of Jesus, making it an important destination for Christian pilgrims. The main cities in Galilee include Nazareth, where Jesus spent his childhood, and Tiberias, located on the shores of the Sea of Galilee a large freshwater lake also known as Lake Tiberias or Kinneret. The area around the Sea of Galilee is rich in archaeological and historical sites, such as Capernaum and Tapga. Besides its religious and historical importance, Galilee is known for its wineries, hiking trails, and vibrant agricultural culture. The combination of natural beauty and spiritual significance makes Galilee one of the most visited places in Israel. Number 9 the land of startups. Israel is often called the land of startups due to its impressive concentration of startups and technological innovation. With over 6,000 startups, Israel has one of the highest densities of startups per capita in the world. The country's vibrant tech scene is driven by a culture of entrepreneurship, advanced research, and government support. The city of Tel Aviv is the heart of Israel's startup ecosystem, hosting leading tech companies such as Waze, Mobileye, and IronSource. Innovation in Israel spans various sectors, including cybersecurity, agritech, fintech, and biotechnology. Israel's universities and research institutions, such as the Wiseman Institute and the Technion, play a crucial role in advancing technology and training talent. International investments and a strong network of incubators and accelerators also contribute to the success of Israeli startups, making Israel a global leader in technological innovation. Number 8. History The history of Israel is rich and complex, stretching back millennia. The earliest references to the land of Israel appear in ancient texts, including the Bible, where it is described as the promised land for the Hebrews. Biblical history recounts events such as the exodus from Egypt led by Moses and the conquest of Canaan under Joshua. The establishment of the kingdoms of Israel and Judah marked a significant period with Jerusalem becoming the capital and the site of the first temple built by King Solomon. After the destruction of the first temple by the Babylonians in 586 BCE, many Jews were exiled to Babylon. They returned to rebuild the second temple, only to see it destroyed by the Romans in 70 CE, leading to a further dispersion of Jews around the world. In the following centuries, the region came under the rule of various empires, including the Roman, Byzantine, Arab, Crusader, Mamluk, and Ottoman. In the late 19th century, the Zionist movement led by Theodor Herzl promoted the idea of a Jewish return to their ancestral land. In 1917, the Balfour Declaration expressed British support for the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. After World War I, the League of Nations granted Britain the mandate over Palestine. In 1947, the newly created United Nations proposed the partition of Palestine into Jewish and Arab states. On May 14, 1948, David Ben-Gurion proclaimed the independence of the State of Israel, immediately followed by an invasion of Arab forces, marking the start of the War of Independence. Israel won and expanded its territory beyond the UN-proposed borders. Despite challenges, Israel developed rapidly, becoming a center of technological and cultural innovation. Did you already know all these details about the history of Israel? Number 7. Dead Sea The Dead Sea is one of the most fascinating places in the world, known for being the lowest point on the Earth's surface, situated approximately 400 meters below sea level. This salt lake, located between Israel, Jordan, and the West Bank, is famous for its extremely salty waters about 9.6 times saltier than the ocean. The high salinity allows people to float effortlessly on the water's surface, attracting tourists from all over the world. Besides its floating properties, the waters and mud of the Dead Sea are known for their therapeutic benefits. Rich in minerals such as magnesium, calcium, and potassium, the mud is used in skin treatments and beauty products. The region around the Dead Sea also has a variety of spas and resorts offering treatments based on these minerals. Historically, the Dead Sea has been a place of refuge and spiritual importance. In the Bible, it is mentioned as a refuge for King David and one of the locations of the biblical cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. Today, the Dead Sea faces serious environmental challenges. The water level has been rapidly decreasing due to water extraction from the Jordan River and evaporation, threatening the future of this unique natural resource. Number 6. 
Agriculture Agriculture in Israel is a remarkable example of innovation and efficiency in a challenging environment. Despite its small territory and limited water resources, Israel has managed to turn arid and semi-arid areas into productive lands through advanced agricultural techniques and efficient water use. Drip irrigation, developed in Israel, is one of the most emblematic technologies and has been widely adopted worldwide. Israel's agricultural sector is diverse, producing a wide variety of fruits, vegetables, grains, and flowers. Citrus fruits, especially oranges and grapefruits, are one of the most important crops and are exported to many countries. Other significant crops include avocados, dates, grapes, tomatoes, and cucumbers. Flour production, especially for export, is also an important part of Israeli agriculture. Agriculture in Israel is characterized by a high level of technology and research. Institutions such as the Volkani Institute of Agricultural Research and the Hebrew University of Jerusalem play crucial roles in developing new plant varieties, cultivation techniques, and water conservation methods. Biotechnology, genetic engineering, and precision agriculture are widely used to increase productivity and sustainability. Kibbutzim and Moshevim, cooperative forms of agricultural settlements, have played an important role in Israel's agriculture. These settlements were fundamental to agricultural development in the country's early decades, promoting community cooperation and agricultural innovation. Despite challenges, including water scarcity and adverse climatic conditions, Israeli agriculture Agriculture continues to thrive and contributes significantly to the country's economy. The commitment to innovation and sustainability ensures that Israel remains at the forefront of world agriculture. Number 5. Jordan River The Jordan River is one of the most important and emblematic rivers in the Middle East, both historically and religiously. It originates in the mountains of Lebanon, flowing south through the Sea of Galilee to empty into the Dead Sea. The river is approximately 251 kilometers long, and serves as an important water source for Israel, Jordan, and the Palestinian territories. The Jordan River holds deep significance for several religions. In Christianity, it is revered as the site where Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist, an event that attracts thousands of pilgrims every year. For Jews, the river is mentioned several times in the Bible as the place where the Israelites, led by Joshua, crossed to enter the Promised Land. In Islam, the Jordan River is also considered a sacred place associated with various prophets. The river plays a crucial role in the region's agriculture and economy. Its waters are used for irrigation in a naturally arid environment, helping to sustain intensive agriculture. However, the Jordan River faces significant environmental challenges. Excessive water extraction for agricultural and domestic use, along with pollution, has drastically reduced the river's flow. Number 4. Tel Aviv Founded in 1909, Tel Aviv is Israel's second-largest city and one of the country's main economic and cultural centers. Located on the Mediterranean coast, the city is known for its beaches, vibrant nightlife, and dynamic cultural scene. Tel Aviv is often referred to as the city that never sleeps due to its abundance of bars, clubs, restaurants, and cafes that operate until the early hours of the morning. Besides being an entertainment hub, Tel Aviv is also an important center for innovation and technology. The city is home to the so-called Silicon Wadi, a reference to Silicon Valley in the United States, due to its high concentration of startups and high-tech companies. This region attracts international investments and talent from all over the world, solidifying Tel Aviv's position as a global leader in technology. Culturally, Tel Aviv is rich and diverse. The neighborhood of Neve Tzedek, for example, is famous for its art galleries, boutiques, and charming architecture. The city also hosts important cultural institutions, such as the Tel Aviv Museum of Art, the Habima Theater, and the Israel Philharmonic Orchestra. Another highlight is the White City, a complex of over 4,000 buildings constructed in the Bauhaus style, which was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Tel Aviv is a cosmopolitan and inclusive city, known for its progressive and welcoming attitude. Number 3. Cultures and Traditions Israel's culture is a unique fusion of ancient traditions and modern influences, reflecting the ethnic and religious diversity of its population. A significant part of Israeli culture is based on Judaism, which influences the country's festivals, rituals, and customs. Religious festivals such as Passover, Yom Kippur, and the Festival of Lights, known as Hanukkah, are widely celebrated. Shabbat, the weekly day of rest, is observed from sunset on Friday to sunset on Saturday, when many businesses close and public transport is limited. Besides Jewish traditions, Israel is also home to a diversity of communities, including Christians, Muslims, Druze, and Bedouins, each with its own customs and celebrations. Israeli culture is also influenced by the immigration of Jews from various parts of the world, including Europe, 
the Middle East, North America, and Ethiopia, which further enriches the country's cultural diversity. Israeli cuisine is a vibrant mix of Middle Eastern and Jewish diaspora flavors. Dishes like falafel, hummus, shakshuka, and sabich are popular among locals and tourists. Street markets, known as shuks, are bustling places where you can find a variety of fresh foods, spices, and crafts. Music and dance also play an important role in Israeli cultural life. The country has a diverse music scene, ranging from traditional folk music to modern pop and electronic music. Israeli folk dance, known as Hora, is often performed at community events and celebrations. Number 2. Jerusalem Jerusalem is one of the oldest cities in the world, with a history dating back about 5,000 years. Located in the Judean mountains, between the Mediterranean Sea and the Dead Sea, Jerusalem is sacred to the three major monotheistic religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. For Jews, it is the site of the ancient Temple of Solomon and the Second Temple, with the Western Wall being a remnant of that period. For Christians, it is where Jesus was crucified and resurrected, housing holy sites such as the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. For Muslims, it is the site of Muhammad's ascension to heaven, with the Dome of the Rock and the Al-Aqsa Mosque being two of Islam's most revered sites. The city is divided into four main quarters, the Jewish, Christian, Muslim, and Armenian, each with its own characteristics and historical monuments. The Jewish quarter contains the Western Wall, while the Christian quarter houses the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. The Muslim quarter includes the Temple Mount, and the Armenian quarter is one of the quietest and least visited. Jerusalem is also Israel's declared capital and the center of government, including the seat of the parliament and the prime minister's official residence. The city is a center of culture, religion, and politics, attracting millions of pilgrims and tourists every year. Besides its religious importance, Jerusalem is known for its universities, museums, and vibrant cultural life. Who here wants to visit Jerusalem? Tell us. Number 1. Geographic data. Israel is a country located in the Middle East, on the southeastern coast of the Mediterranean Sea, bordering Lebanon to the north, Syria to the northeast, Jordan to the east, and Egypt to the southwest. The country has a relatively small territorial extension of just 22,445 square kilometers. Even so, Israel has very diverse geography. The coastal region is characterized by fertile plains and modern cities, while the interior of the country is dominated by mountains and hills. To the south lies the Negev Desert, a vast expanse of arid land that covers more than half of Israel's territory. The highest point in the country is Mount Maron, at 1,208 meters high, located in the Galilee region. Israel is also crossed by the famous Jordan River, which flows from the Sea of Galilee to the Dead Sea, the lowest point on the Earth's surface, situated approximately 430 meters below sea level. In addition, the country has several lakes, such as the Sea of Galilee, also known as Lake Tiberias, which is an important source of fresh water for the region. Israel's geographical diversity contributes to a variety of climates, ranging from Mediterranean to desert. And so we come to the end of another journey in another fascinating place in our beautiful world. Comment below if you want us to make a documentary about Mecca. Thank you very much for watching, and God willing, we will see you on our next adventure. Shalom Adonai.